What's up guys? Welcome to part two of my home automation series. If you did not see part one, or if you did not see the awesome demo that I put out, make sure you watch those. I'll leave those links down below. In this series, we'll be talking about scenes, we'll be talking about triggers, but most importantly, what you guys have been looking for, the voice automation. So without further ado, let's get started. So before I begin with part two, I kind of want to do a behind the scenes of what happened in part one. It seems some of you might have questions and are a little bit confused uh, between the in-wall dimmer switch and the uh, plug-in module. So the in-wall dimmer switch, the way I have this set up is, for example, similar to how the uh, on and off switch was on here, basically I push that, it turns my light on. So it replaces my on and off switch and then if I push that, it uh, turns it off. Of course, I can also use the dimming capabilities. Most houses have um, a plug that you can control through a switch. Okay, in this case, this house has that and many houses do too. Now the difference between that and this module is that I don't have an on and off switch that I can control externally. I would have to do it uh, within the app because that communicates with the Vera. Okay, so for example, here's the phone app and I know you have not seen this application yet and we're gonna talk about it today. So for example, Office Light. If I go ahead and uh, push this on, it turns it on, off, on, off, okay? Now, if I go down here to my popcorn machine, in this case, I labeled that as popcorn machine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, push that. If I turn it on, it turns it on, off, on. And you can actually see the light. I'm going to go down here so you guys can see is off, on. So theoretically, the popcorn machine is always on. It's just not sending power because the module is pretty much the switch. Okay, so I'll go ahead and turn that off. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more of an understanding of each of the purposes of both both of these uh, modules. Um, you may want to use this over this when it comes to controlling lights. And the reason being is, for example, if I plug in a light lamp to that, I won't be able to control it externally. You would have to use the app, which can be pretty annoying uh, having to turn an on and off excuse me, on and off a light using an app, where if I come into my office, I don't need to use my phone. I just push it on here and it uh, turns it on. So hopefully that was a little bit of a better understanding of how these things work. So now that you guys have a basic understanding of how this works, go ahead and log into your Mi Casa Verde account. And what we're gonna do now is set up some scenes. So go ahead and click on automation. Now scenes are pretty much a way to trigger multiple devices, or in other words, control multiple devices. So for example, if you have a movie scene, let's just say you call it movie, and what you can do is when once you activate that scene, the lights will turn off, the popcorn machine will turn on, and all the door locks will lock. So that would be considered a scene. You're controlling multiple, multiple devices with just one action. So let's go ahead and set up a new scene. Click on, once you're on the automation tab, click on new scene. And the first thing you want to do is name that scene. So in this case, there's going to be a party in my office. So I'm going to call it party. And I know what this is. So what do we want to happen when we execute the party scene? So when we execute the party scene, I want my popcorn machine to turn on. I want my office light to turn on. And I want my computer to turn on. Very easy. You are done. That's it. The only other thing that you can do is, for example, do you want these things to happen immediately or do you want to set up delays? So for example, right now it's set to immediate. If I set up delays, I can say, for example, turn on my computer first, then wait 15 seconds to turn on my office light and then wait two minutes and turn on my popcorn machine. This is sort of more for effect. Now, as I always say, you want to be neat. So you want to attach this scene to uh, whatever room it is. In this case, it's my office, just to keep things organized. Once you are done, go ahead and confirm changes and save them. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing more to it than that. It's very easy to do. Of course, you want to test it out. So if I click on run right now, which I'm not going to do, I'm going to show you guys in, in real life right now or in demo, um, it will turn on all of those three uh, things. So let's go ahead and try it out and take a look. Okay, so if you guys remember the application that I was using at the beginning of the video, that is Automation HD, and I'll leave that link down below. Basically, you want to download that app. That is pretty much 
the app that has all of this awesomeness that I'm going to show you today. So these are all the scenes that I've set up. And as you can see, we set up the, uh, that uh, party scene. So for example, when uh, we hit run, it's going to turn on the popcorn machine. It's going to turn on the light and it's going to turn on the computer. As you can see, the computer is turned off, completely shut off. It's not even on standby, okay? So let's go ahead and run the scene. I'm gonna go ahead and step back here so you guys can see it. And here you go. There it is. And as you can see, the computer turned on, the office light is on, and the popcorn machine. So we successfully executed a scene. So looking back at this app, I'm not going to go through every single thing that you can do, but I'm going to tell you right now that it is the best app that you can download for home automation as of making this video. A lot of you were wondering how I did that voice control, and this app was the one that makes it all happen. Uh, you could do it through Tasker, but the beauty of this app is that the integration is pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and push on voice. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just cancel that, and I'm going to show you the different types of commands that you can have. So these are the voice commands. So for example, turn on, off, and then device name. So whatever you name your device is exactly what it's going to do. So for example, if I name my device popcorn machine, I could say turn on device name popcorn machine. If I, I can name it whatever I want or turn popcorn machine on and off. And it gives you a little bit of the dimmable light. So for example, you can set set, you know, device name. So set lights, office lights to 50% and it'll dim them to 50% or, you know, raise, lower. These are all uh, variables that you can use. So for example, on my locks, remember I said, you know, unlock side door. That's my device name is side door. Um, security sensors, I can arm a security sensor, which we'll briefly talk about that today. Uh, same with the thermostat. So a lot of this, if you go back to my video, my uh, demo video, you'll see that I that I use these types of commands. Now, remember, we just set up a scene, and I can execute that scene by saying start, you know, uh, party mode or, or whatever your, your scene name is. So when I turned on my computer on the demo video, I actually used a scene. So I said activate, you know, um, the scene name. So let's go back over here and look at some of the scenes that I have. Go ahead and exit here. So here are the different scenes that I have. So here is, for example, I have party and then office computer. So if I, I already showed you guys, if I hit run, it will activate. Or I can just say activate party and that's it. So let's go ahead and go to the voice and I'll show you guys. Activate party. Affirmative. Activating party. So see that? Um, I don't have to actually push a button. It just automatically did that. So that's uh, pretty much the secret for the voice automation. It's really awesome and I uh, highly recommend this app. You could do so much with it. Um, I'd probably make a video um, on its own some other time, but it's fairly uh, easy to understand and it, you could just pretty much uh, learn on your own. It's nothing uh, too hard for you to uh, look at. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, sensor now. So now that you see how easy it is to set up a scene, Hop onto the back end and we're going to do a trigger. And triggers are basically an event that tells the Vera to run a scene. Um, in this case, what we're going to do is use a motion detector. So let's go ahead and add a new scene because we need to create a scene first. In this case, we're going to call it motion. You can call it whatever you want. And what is a scene that we want to do? In this case, we want to turn the office light on. Okay. But we want something to trigger this uh, uh, scene. And in this case, we're going to go down here where it says uh, triggers or up here, and we're going to add a new trigger. Okay, we're going to select the device and the device is going to be the motion sensor. Okay, so when this motion sensor, now you can either have it if it's armed or not. So in this case, I like to do arm so that way I can set it up when uh, this motion detec detector is going to uh, trigger the, the scene. So I'm going to set it up to unarmed sensor and I'm just going to call this sensor. Like I said, you could you could call it whatever you want. Now when the device is when the device arm is tripped, you're going to execute that scene which is turn on my office light. So go ahead and confirm that change and then uh, save it, of course. 
So now we have a new uh, a trigger. Well, we have a trigger and a scene. The, the, the scene is uh, called motion, and this is where my office light is going to turn on when this trigger happens, when it detects motion, okay? So let's go ahead and test it out, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and test out our motion sensor. Uh, now that we set up a trigger, when I open that door, there's a motion sensor in there, and it's going to turn that light on, okay? So as you can see, I'll just give you a quick walkthrough of the room, okay? So once we turn, I know you guys got dizzy there. So once we open this door, you're gonna see the motion sensor, and like I said, it's going to turn that light on because it's armed, okay? So there it is. I don't know if you guys saw that blinking. So here's the motion sensor. I'll go ahead and uh, pull this out and the light turned on. Okay, so this is something that, and like, like I said in the beginning of the video, depending on how you set things up. So for example, I can, downstairs I have one of these set up to a light. And, and I have it set up so that when there's a motion detected when I'm downstairs, I want the light to turn on. So I'm not really utilizing uh, an on and off switch like this, like this in-wall dimmer switch. Um, it would be more appropriate to use something like this. Uh, that way I can set the lamp wherever I want rather than having it placed uh, in a uh, spot that needs to be. So for example, this light, the only way I can control this light is through that switch if it's connected to that plug. But if I connect that light, let's just say to another plug back here, um, I won't be able to uh, control it. Sorry for the fast movement there uh, with that with that light switch so this is where my motion detector comes into play so as you can see it's really cool um, this is a three-in-one motion detector or it's not motion detect three-in-one uh, sensor that detects motion uh, light and temperature so uh, I can create different types of triggers so for example when the light uh, goes down to 50% turn a specific light on so this is kind of neat uh, if you're gonna be away out of, out of town you don't want to necessarily leave the light on but when it gets dark enough it'll know to trigger a, or to send a trigger to the light to turn it on so there's a lot more that we can do and uh, I'm very excited to show you uh, what's next so there you have it pretty easy stuff right huge props to the developers from home automation app that is amazing app and really they're the ones that make this so easy and seamless where it allows anybody to be able to do this type of um, voice control otherwise you would have to set up task or task um, and it can get a little bit complicated for a lot of people so uh, this is the reason why I decided to use this app is because I want everybody to see how easy it is to do home automation. So anyhow, guys, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please reshare this with all of your friends and family. It also lets me know that you guys are interested so I can continue the series. If I don't start seeing the views and it's going to happen like Tasker where I just end, ended up dropping the series. So make sure if you guys want to continue to see more videos, you guys let me know and also views count so make sure you reshare that and i highly appreciate it anyhow guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode adios